All right, this is number six from the Calc A B exam in 2012, um, and it is a uh, particle motion problem. Um, so we're given velocity is cosine of pi over six t, where t is between zero and twelve. And then the question is, when is the particle moving to the left? We need to know when velocity is negative. So uh, I don't know. To me, this is really just a trig graphing question. So uh, the period of this function is 12 because it's 2 pi divided by b and b is pi over 6 so 12 and then uh, I set it up divide by 2 to get 6 and then divide each of those in 2 so that would be 3 and 9 um, and then the range is 1 to negative 1 and it's positive cosine so it goes maximum intercept minimum intercept maximum then you can fill in the curve and uh, so now I'm just going to say uh, when the particle is moving to the left is when the velocity is negative. So uh, you can see from the graph that the particle is moving to the left between 3 and 9. So on the interval from 3 to 9. And that's all there is to it. Uh, the next part is to write but not evaluate an integral that gives the total distance traveled. Uh, so you have to walk into the exam knowing how to find total distance. And... Um, Distance traveled is going to be the integral from A to B of the absolute value of velocity. Um, so uh, there's almost nothing to do on this problem. Uh, so distance traveled on 0 to 6 is uh, the integral from 0 to 6 of the absolute value of V of T dt. And that's it. You don't even need to write down what V of T is, because um, that would have been the answer no matter what V of T was. All right, the next question is to find a function for the acceleration. And we know acceleration is the derivative of velocity, so let me just jot down what velocity is um, so I can take the derivative. All right, so the derivative of cosine is negative sine of that thing, and then times the derivative of that thing. And then I'll write this over a little nicer. So I get that box around it. Um, and then the question continues, is the speed of the particle increasing, decreasing, or neither at t equals 4? Alright, so I need to do the sign of velocity. So v of 4. Uh, I'm going to take 4 and plug it in. That gives me the cosine of uh, 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 is in the second quadrant of the unit circle, um, and cosine is negative there, so that's less than 0. I need to know the acceleration at 4. So that's going to be negative pi over 6 sine of, again, 2 pi over 3. Um, and 2 pi over 3 is in the second quadrant of the unit circle. Sine is positive in the second quadrant, so this overall is negative. And then since v of 4 and a of 4 have the same sign, um, that means that the speed is increasing. Anytime uh, velocity and acceleration have the same sign, the speed will be increasing. So we get that. And then the uh, final part is to actually find the position at t equals 4. Well, we know if we integrate velocity from 0 to 4, we get x of 4 minus x of 0, um, which is the change in position, or the displacement. Um, so I can rearrange that to get x of 4 equals x of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 4 v of t dt. Um, and now it's kind of a standard problem. So I actually am given that x of 0 is negative 2. Don't forget that. Um, and then I need to integrate. Let me replace v of t with the actual function. And keep going here. So negative 2 plus. Um, so uh, there should have been a pi over 6 on the inside. So I put a 6 over pi on the outside of the integral to balance it out. And then it just becomes the antiderivative of cosine is sine of pi over 6t. So it's a good idea to take the derivative of what you think the antiderivative is um, and just check. That especially is good for balancing out the coefficients. So from 0 to 4. Um, so this gives me negative 2. Oh, I changed color there. Man, my bad. Anyway, uh, 6 over pi, and then I'm going to plug in 4 to get sine of 2 pi over 3. And then minus, plug in 0 to get the sine of 0. Uh, I believe technically you can actually leave this answer, but it seems very strange to leave that, so I'm going to keep going. So negative 2 plus 6 over pi, and the sine of 2 pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2. And the sine of 0 is 0, so that drops out. And then, so another form of the final answer would be this. 
Uh, but I think you can stop at what's in the box, and you would be good. And that is problem number six, so I hope this was helpful, and good luck.